All right, so it is playing random draft. What do I want to play? Kind of feel like a jungling hero, perhaps. Ten seconds remaining. an enchant. I got nothing. Ten seconds remaining. Mage, actually, that's not gonna be fun. So, ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Um, oh god. There is no team in Axe. To battle! <laughs> Good day to fight. Um. Into war's team. Hey, this guy. Charges. Axe goes. Cut and run. Thirty seconds to battle. I haven't tried a silence or jungle yet, guys, but I. I off of Theorycraft, I think he's the worst jungler, probably. It's not tested, but it's my assumption. He has wards, no, we don't have wards. Alright. So, as an axe, I'm gonna do jungling. I've got a stout shield, I have some regen. I'm gonna probably get a fast level 3 and then go ganking. Um, I'm gonna take out small camps primarily. Let the carnage begin. I would maybe gank with that, but I kind of need to start farming a little bit. Pretty important. Looks like Dami is going for early roam. So he's going to grab the invis, which will allow him to uh, control the lane pretty easily. Or at least get some easy EXP. That'll be a pretty easy ganking target. So whenever you jungle, you always want to start off. <laughs> Fuck you. It's <laughs> fucker. It's fucker. In case you guys missed, he got all of my farm. He just got every single last hit there. A bastard. On the bright side, I didn't lose that much, but. Could also take a medium camp right now, but Dami um, actually cleared that one out, so I might actually go over here to grab this camp. I'm gonna pick up a second level of Battle Hunger and then probably max good out Counter Helix. Fight. Yeah, that's a good camp. That's a good camp. Attack. 
Dummy, can you stop fucking around, please? Seriously, this is annoying. Like, there's there's a limit that I can take, but like, running an iron shell next to me to lose me 200 HP, like, that's too much. Enemies need killing! To battle! To the enemy! Taste my blade! Forward! I kill this wave, oh my god. I was actually messing up my EXP a lot because he split he split two waves with me. He took uh the small camp he split EXP. I should be level three right now is the problem, but he's sapping EXP, so it's kinda of fucking me over a lot. Oh man, all these camps are being despawned too. Dude, we're messing up. Stungle's being really messed up. So I should be level 3 right now, which means I would have a level 2 battle, which means ganking wouldn't be that hard, but... He sapped a lot of EXP, stole a bunch of my gold as well. Not good. If I was level 3, ganking would be a problem. I don't even know if... Okay, good. I do hit 3 at least. Alright, so now I can cast a little bit of nukes mid. Which they are just gonna love. Fight if you can! Oh, don't let him deny it. It's probably not worth going in on this. Okay. Enemies need killing. Tommy decided to be nice. Let me just get my clarity potion to heal a little bit on. Thanks. Rest is for the dead. Give me them spins. To the enemy. I'm gonna take one more small camp, then I'm gonna go gank. Attack. I just hate this ghost so much. I gotta kill this thing. Tommy, no. Tommy could hit him, I think. Here comes the axe. The road. Axe run. Show your work. Axe charges. Double kill. What's triggering? Double kill. <laughs> Thank God, Power Nuts, good player. He, like, pays attention. Alright, Ring of Health. Aw, yeah. Alright, now go back to the jungle, or I can cut creeps. 
Or we can push. No, I think I'm gonna go back to the jungle for a little bit here. I could cut creeps pretty easily, but uh, I'm not gonna bother. Good day to fight. <laughs> Same as rule. Alright, I'm gonna go grab that. Illusions is, are actually really good on Axe because you still get the spin despite them being Illusion and they still do full damage actually. So, let's have a bottle. Nope. So I'm actually going to use these to accelerate my jungle a little bit. I can put one in each little camp. And as you guys can see, there is a Seder in this one. Oops, that one's actually not there. Man, everything outside is really loud today. To the enemy. All right, let's go gank again. Enemies need killing. Axe charges. Pro illusion. Into wars, team. To battle. He ran away. I have to be a little careful about how I cast because obviously I don't want to make it very easy to them to just deny my battle hunger. Like right when I cast it, I should have pulled that back. I just lost a spawn. Forward. Not a huge fan of mud golems, but we'll get the job done. So if anyone actually goes bottom, I'm just gonna go and battle hunger them, and hopefully kill them. Which should give Morphling really, really good farm. He is up against an anti mage. Keep in mind, he has treads, bring of health, but uh, he's doing pretty well as well. All right. So. Enemies need killing. Now wait for him to come forward again. I want to make sure he's not about to grab last hits. And there we go. It's an easy kill. <laughs> Alright, now that we got that kill, I think we're going to push a little bit. Just want to push that wave a little bit while still uh, giving him the last hits if possible. Mana is still pretty good. Oh, that's good. Same thing goes on with this. Uh, illusion that actually tanks pretty well and uh, does end up spinning. Oops. Good day to fight. Alright, I'm going to go back to the jungle a little bit. I should probably pick up a TP scroll as well. I don't really expect to be uh, necessarily finishing a vanguard super soon. At, this, at the very least, I could do a support TP somewhere. But going to keep giving him some good farm. He should be pretty self-reliant. I'm not too worried about him as a player. Not really sure if I should do Arcane Boots this game or um, Tranquils. Tranquils are pretty good. Let's see if he despawned this one. He did not go. That is Shadow Shaman. Good day to fight. Oh, I didn't have that. Attack! That's game. Axe charges. How many times have we killed Dark Soon now? Not enough is the answer. Axe nice dude, you're gonna micro two heroes. Let's take, let's take a 6v5. 
fight if you can. Wait up. Enemies need killing. He doesn't stun. Gold push deep. Got a new Brasta. Into war team. New Brasta. To the enemy. All right, let's go by my vanguard. Axe goes. Your top tower is under attack. Earn through blood. Your top tower Rest is under attack. Dire structures are fortified. Taste my blade. Alright, that's gonna be killed probably. To battle. My ancestors welcome me on your axe run. Alright, never mind, we're fighting anti mage and need arcane boots. <laughs> Undeniable now. So I guess I did not kill Crystal Maiden. See him is alive. Live and kicking. Enemies need killing. God, I wish I had uh, mana for battle hunger right now. I might be dead. Into wars, I have zero mana, by the way. Axe charges. I can punch people though. Axe. 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 Not done punching. Oh yes, I have Arcane Boots mana. Money. Good day to fight. That's a bad hero to cast it on. Now Crystal Maiden. That's a hero to cast this on. So I almost died there pretty easily. The worst part was I was like leveling up, so I almost didn't get the calling blade off. That would have sucked. I would have been really shitty if I didn't get the calling blade. But we ended up winning. Alright. Ironwood branch, teep scroll. So we need next. So that was successful. We killed I traded for I got anti mage, which is totally worth it. I think I helped did Crystal Maiden die. Crystal Maiden's only died twice. He's got five kills. He's doing well. Nature's Prophet actually doing really well. Our Death Prophet, sorry. I'm just gonna walk. I kind of want to save my TP scroll, anyways. Take that damage. Here comes the axe. Fight if you can. Into war's teeth. <gasps> no. Oh, I didn't get it off. Fudge. Oh my god. 
Uh, <laughs> all I did was cast it once. I should have, uh, instead of hitting I should have just casted it. If I would have casted it, she would have died. Now she lives. Oh, that sucks really bad. God, we're so close to killing her too. She's Oh, she has a hood, no wonder. No wonder she's doing so well. She's resisting a lot of the damage that I'm doing. My ulti was too early. What is it? Uh, 300 HP, okay. So that's like a little bit over one major chunk. Every major chunk is about 250, I believe. Yeah. So a little bit over one, one chunk is what I should be aiming for. Alright, so that was going okay. Um, I should probably get a Blink Dagger, pretty much for sure. Blink Dagger at this point is a, I dare I say, a requirement. He's got Battle Fury though, so that should be kept in mind. Uh, ulti is 450 now, which is just under two chunks. Death Prop is basically the hardest one to kill, but if I can form up a Blink Dagger quick and use it on her, it will be beautiful. Oh great, Dami's going for a really pro item build here. Good to see. Into War's team. Rest is for the dead. Axe run. Death Prop is doing way better than she should be. I really should have killed her that one time. God damn it. I know I shouldn't have stayed as well. Battle Hunger has a huge range, so I was definitely got way too close there. This guy should be more dead than he has been. Too bad that uh, she's doing so well, the Death Prophet that is, because we still have to deal with an Anti-Mage as well, so that really makes it a lot harder to end up winning this game. Everybody's so close to Blink Daggers too, it's the worst part. Alright, he's got Blink. 
So I can take one more wave. I'm like 300 to blink, so I'm gonna finish this farm, I think. I have to be really careful now, because we just pushed the wave. Oh, uh, I know. I messed up. So this is what I'm gonna have to do. Never do that, guys, if you don't have an arcane boots. But since I have an arcane, it's kind of okay. She's gonna sheep. Man, I really wish I would have killed her. That would helped a lot. Tranquil soaring would also work, but I opted for arcane because of anti mage. So. I actually did not kill the crystal maiden with my um, battle of hunger. I maybe should have stayed. Smart thing that PowerNet's doing here. Gosh, she's so survivable. They were all there. So what he did was kept the replicant just in case they started a team fight, and then he showed up immediately. But we don't have enough damage output really. That's not a good ulti. Oh god, he's dead. Alright, so despite the shitty start to that, I probably shouldn't have jumped on Death Prophet solo. If there's no procs, you're not really doing a whole lot of damage, so... Um, it's not really... my damage output wasn't that high. But now that I have my Blink Dagger, I can totally counter-initiate, which is the main thing. The problem is we don't really have, like, a main initiator, we don't have, like, a tanky hero. I'm kind of like the tanky hero, but... I also want to be able to call on multiple people, because they have so many disables and slows that once I'm actually in there, I'm kind of screwed. I almost think... I think I should just Blade Mail next. Blade Mail is going to be the way to go. Against, um... Against the Death Prophet, that's going to be the best option for sure. Because she's going to do damage to me and she's not going to be able to control who she targets. So if I just get my HP up a lot while having a Blade Mail, that would be the best option for my survivability. Their Dark Seer is not very farmed either, which is great for us. What I do, 4 staff greater than Blink if I'm having a bad game. Um... Possibly, but you have to remember that Blink is so much better for initiation. Force Staff is not bad. It's a great item depending on the hero, but almost always a Blink Dagger is going to be better for Axe. You can do Force Staff and maybe like a little bit of mana regen if you want. That works, but that's kind of what you're limiting to. That's Anti Mage. I'm gonna make sure that I get that and not them. Puck was pretty far away, so. Up. 
Rest is for the dead. Axe gold. Alright, I'm gonna be looking for the initiation. Alright, we're all there. To battle! Prove yourself! And the best part was, he just went mid. He's like, oh, well, time to go farm. Good day to fight. Is for the dead. Finally killed the frickin' Death Prophet. That was her first death. Praise Jeebus! So things are going a little bit better now. Uh, my initiation was good, disabled the Rasta. If Rasta's attacking me instead of casting, that's terrible for him. And when I get my blade mail, I'll have some armor picked up as well, which is going to be great. Actually, you might want to just go top. Oh, yes, that's a blade mail. That is a blade mail. And now Morphling does what PowerNet does best, which is own. No. Let's see what the courier is bringing. It's gonna be hard for somebody. Probably gonna be hard on Morphling, I think, actually. Which is gonna be kind of interesting. But I got my blade mail, so I can use that in team fights. Next item I want is probably a heart. I just want to really increase my HP. I have enough armor within reason. Doing some split pushing. He's super good at split pushing. Axe goes. Enemies need killing. So we have all of their outer towers, by the way, guys. Keep that in mind. Oh, he looks. He might be dead. I'll try to catch up to him here. I think that's gonna be it for his waveform. Kill you. We actually took a lot of damage from that. That was such a creepy laugh. Oh, and we lost Sand King too. <laughs> oh man, Morkling. Such a good hero. How many left? God, he's farming so well. This dude's so good at Dota. I'm just gonna stick on Magic Stick, I think. It's not really worth me putting the money into a wand, especially this late in the game. Um, core items are gonna be a lot more important, so. 
We should do some ganking, probably. Dami, I don't know what you're saying. Enemies need killing. It's dark steer. That's an illusion. That is gonna be the real one. To the enemy. The enemy's top tower is falling. Fight if you can. Not that. Nothing. I should have maybe ulted somebody else, but ulting somebody does give you a big movement speed bonus, so it's the trade off. Sorry, this game is over. Parnet's farming so well. Still initiate for the disable, so I'm still gonna sit back here. The enemy's top tower has fallen. The enemy's top barracks has fallen. Axe guard here. Enemy's top barracks has fallen. Rest is for the dead. Coin of the realm. To the enemy! Dire structures are fortified. Enemies need killing! The enemy's middle tower has fallen. I left my hook prints in your backside. Good day to fight! The enemy's middle barracks has fallen. Save my HP. The magic of blade mail. Oops, that was a mistake. That was a mistake for him. That's kind of cool, the ethereal blade, uh, or the old puckle he actually revealed who was the real one. Wait, Puck is still alive? I thought Puck was dead. So good. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. It's so good. Axe lives to cut the again. enemy's middle tower has fallen. Axe charges. Oh, look how much damage he just did. That was like 80% of, uh, Death Prophet's HP. Yes! You guys can follow PowerNet on Twitter, by the way, if you want to. I think it's currently gosu.powernet, something like that. I can show you. Let me see. Oh, there's X items, apparently. Um, got nothing. Let me 
me see. Oops. Yeah, PowerNet 429 is currently his. 